All right, Virgo, Empress 777 here today with a monthly for the beginning of April. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It will be general. All right, so it may or may not resonate. Just take what does, leave the rest. Put yourself where you belong in the story to all my cross watchers. We're going to jump right in. Holy angels and spirit guides, give me clear, concise messages for my Virgos. Let us know exactly what we need to know, spirit. Please give us clear, concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the beginning of April. I know you're like, what? Is she doing a Virgo read? <laughs> yes, I had one of my uh, watchers kind of comment. He's like, yeah, great. Was it a he or a she? I didn't really take down their name. I'm sorry, but this is for you. This is for you. Comment down below. Um, they left a comment like, great reads, but yeah, can you do Virgo now? Like, hello, don't forget about us. Okay, we the shit. Don't do us. Don't do us. So here I am. I'm, I am going to try to upload for other signs a lot more often now. All right, as I freed up much time needed. So let's get right into this. Okay, guys, this is going to be a general read as I stated. Um, there are personal reads available for those of you who are interested in that. I've been very busy with those as well. Um, information to get that set up will be linked down below. Um, this read will have an extended, all right, as a bonus, especially to that one subscriber. I appreciate your support. So here it is for you. The extendeds do dig a little bit deeper into your person's direct energy. Um, the initial read is a little bit more general, but we do try to, we try not to be too messy, y'all, but I can get a little messy. I'm an acquired taste. Let me just forewarn you. All right. Um, in this uh, extended, we're going to look at your person's current feelings. Of course, we're going to look at the changes that they're willing to make to kind of bring the two of you together. If there's still a shot, sometimes bridges are burnt and that's that on that, but we're still going to take a look and we're going to take a look at their next steps, of course, um, potential outcome, and then what's coming towards you in love, whether that be new or old. Um, I might just take a look at just the new for those of you who are interested in that. And then we'll also look at your finances. Cause I know Virgo is all about the bag, baby. Okay. Yes, all about the bag. Okay, love is great, but numbers don't lie. Hello, people do. So we're gonna look at your finances. We're gonna see what the blockages are that may be keeping you from getting to that next level and what advice spirit may have for you to gain financial freedom. So I think I'm done rambling now, okay? Had a few little public service announcements and now back to our regular scheduled programming, okay? This is the first card out, guys. It's time to release negativity. I know that's right. Full moon in Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I just think this is your overall vibe, right? I feel like you had a lot of individuals who may have come in. You may have dealt with a lot of toxic partners, guys. All right. Let's just be very clear about that. Um, people who were chaotic in, them, in their own selves and would project that chaotic kind of toxic energy out onto you right and onto everyone in their life really right toxicity doesn't have like an aim um and when you encounter a toxic person and we've all been toxic at one point in our lives but when you in, when you encounter someone who is toxic or negative it kind of just aerates you know what i'm saying you can almost feel it in your own energy even after you've already hung up the phone or have already parted ways with a person like this um, it still aerates, right? It seeps through. It's toxic and contagious, all right? So I feel like you are on the lookout for individuals. You are all about energy right now. You're definitely being um, very discerning in reference to who you allow in your energy. I feel like um, the negative energy kind of takes your focus off of where it needs to go. And that's where you are completely focused um, this could be in reference to just a particular individual, however, right? Um, your person, but I, I definitely get that as overall energy for you. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get this ax out of your life, okay? Um, you're taking no prisoners here. Uh, I like it though. It's very self-loving type of energy. Um, sometimes just for the sake of being nice, people feel like you're supposed to allow people to retain access to your life even if they're effing with your energy and you're like nope i'm not doing it it's, it's too it costs too much it's too taxing on my mental space on my emotionality and then because of that it then in turn f's with my bag right f's with my focus towards my goals and my money so yeah anybody can get that axe i really do like that bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so you could be dealing with an aquarius however 
I get this more as your person's energy, Virgo. I just have to be very honest, all right? This is an individual who is possibly trying to come in and, and save the day, okay? <sighs> Yikes. I heard, I'm not Captain save a ho That's what I heard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not saying they a ho I'm just saying. You may feel like this is a person who was feeding off of your energy, all right? They were very taxing on your energy. They always had a handout. They never really poured into this, and now this is the offer that they're coming in with, but is it too late? You know what I'm saying? I feel like if this person comes back in, especially if all you can remember is the negativity that they brought to your life, that is going to be a definite no-go. And that's that on that from you. So I'm, I'm worried for them, all right? Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. And I don't know. I feel like maybe this is this has definitely been a relationship out of this person's comfort zone. I'm getting that they are used to kind of getting what they want, guys. All right. This is an individual who operates from their uh, past relationships. They they don't learn from them. OK, don't mistake that. No, they don't learn from their past relationships, but they were. They were very entitled in their past connections. They got away with a lot. This could be an individual who is extremely attractive. They can be really charismatic or a wordsmith, like they know exactly what to say. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they know exactly what to say. You see how that just knocked over? Yeah, so that's from spirit. This is some. This is somewhat of a wordsmith, guys, all right? Um, they use a lot of good verbiage, okay? They are uh, extremely charismatic. Um, they can kind of talk their way. They're a fast talker, you know what I'm saying? They can talk their way out of anything, and you almost view this as untrustworthy, okay? You also view that as a toxic trait of this person, almost like they were gaslighting you or um, a, a manipulative type of individual. Um, we had attraction that popped out in the reverse. So you no longer view this as an attractive trait. This could have been something that was attractive to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I feel like this is a person who gets a lot of attention. They are extremely attractive. You know, you may have thought that they were fine, you know? However, you had to take control of things. Um, so let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is what they are trying to convince you to do. This is falling right under this bring love into the situation card. So they are going to try to say, you know, you might, you're controlling this. You know, you got to let it flow, right? That's the, the phrase that people like to use. Let it flow. Um, only dead fish go with the flow and only dead fish let things flow. You are taking complete control. You have a goal in mind. So anybody who does not fit the description of someone who will survive, you know, the test of time, someone who will fit into your plan, they have to go, right? You're being very decisive about that. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And this is what they want to do. So this could have been a very closed off individual in the past, guys. All right. Look how she, look, how, gender doesn't matter, but look how she's just yielding him to look at me. Look at me. You know, I have feelings for you. I love you. Um, They may try to come in and express something that they've never expressed before. Um, Sort of pull at your heartstrings, Virgo. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for that. All right. Um. Yeah, when they come in, it's not going to feel necessarily negative. It's not. They're going to come in saying all the right things. So just make sure. Ooh, well, that didn't work out now, did it? Yeah, just make sure you're properly discerning what these intentions are about. And we're definitely going to look at that in the extended, okay? I want to know because they are going to come in and express something. They're no longer attracted to you though. You know what I'm saying? But for some of you, it might be hard to look away from. There was attraction here at one point in time. Um, the unattractiveness stemmed from their behavior, not necessarily their looks, but I feel like they, this is a person who can kind of talk their way out of stuff. And that's what they may attempt to do. Wow, we had a lot of cards pop out, guys. So in the extended, we are going to look at what changes they have made. You're expressing all of this love. You want me to let go of control. But what ha have you changed anything? Because you're back. So if you if you think that I'm still with the shits or, or that I'm going to entertain you being back the exact same, you know I mean, you're sadly mistaken. Can you even see me? And this, I feel like this definitely was you. This is falling under this uh, remove negative energy. Um, card, you are removing this. This is the person who did not see what you were doing for them until you were gone. Oh boy. See, individuals like this puzzle me, okay? Because you were giving a lot into this Virgo. Don't lie, okay? Don't lie. I see it. However, 
people who who do not recognize what they have they take for granted what they have until it's gone they act like they will they will get additional chances to make shit right you don't always get a second chance hello ma'am sir i'm talking to you ma'am sir uh bruh sis whoever this is that has fumbled this okay you have left a bad taste in virgo's mouth we have attraction in the reverse now you're back. I don't know what gave you the inkling that you would have another chance at this. Now, some of you might look at this, but I don't feel that intuitively. I don't. I don't do this on purpose. So this may be what they're trying to come in and express. This came out for someone else. I can't remember which other sign it came out for. Um, like I said, did I say that in this reading, this person operates from their relationships of the past? They don't learn from their relationships of the past, but they just kind of continuously go about life frivolously. Um, they do get their way in those relationships and they uh, are really behaving like this unconsciously. But that's you're like, that's none of my business, right? Like you're taking control of things now from here on out. You feel like you gave them enough time to get this right. Nope, you're not tripping. I take advantage of your love for me. You see what I'm saying? You gave a lot to this Virgo, okay? There was lots of love here. You saw it for them at one point in time. But that attraction has seemingly turned into the reverse. They left a bad taste in your mouth. They took you for granted, all right? And now it may be gone forever, but we are going to look in the um, extended to see what like the potential outcome would be. See? Yeah, now they want to come in and express all of this love that they have, but they weren't giving anything before, all right? They were a very fickle type of individual, guys. Very fickle energy. Now they want to pour love into this. Now they want you to kind of see what they can offer, but they weren't offering anything before. You see what I'm saying? They weren't offering a damn thing. And now they want to come back in and try to kind of solidify things with you, um, meet you halfway, compromise. Uh, but for some of you, that's going to be uh, too little, too late is what I'm hearing type of energy. Tell me about this person's habits. <laughs> I mean, this is how I'm reading these monthlies, but do we need to know any more of their habits? I feel like most of their habits have already popped out. They've sabotaged this access granted. See social media, fake profile hiding. This is someone who really hides their feelings though. That's how I read this. They don't give you access into them fully. You always felt like something was off anyway, but then after a certain amount of time and your energy just kept feeling more and more depleted, the more you dealt with this person, you have to do what you had to do for yourself. Yeah, project it. Future days, weeks, months. So this, de this person projects guys okay this is how i'm reading this card projection is all about making someone feel like it's their fault right playing the victim um kind of blaming an individual for certain feelings that you believe they have because those are the feelings that you deep down really have right so they don't take accountability they kind of just project out onto other people um, and this could possibly be what was going on in this connection as well, guys. All right. We have expressed your love. So obviously they never expressed any of these feelings to you. Um, it was definitely them acting out of a form of what they were comfortable with. All right. They treated you like the rest, but you're not like the rest. I mean, I guess they get it now, but it might be too late for that. It definitely might be too late, guys. Hamster wheel. See, surviving daily hustle. So I feel like this is where your focus is and this is where their focus should be, too. But because this came out and what their habits are, this is not a very responsible uh, individual, guys. OK, they just kind of go day to day and try to survive. That's it. They're just living to survive. Whereas you have shit that you are trying to get done. You could have seen this in this person's um, characteristic traits. Like, oh yeah, I can't take, I'll end up carrying you if I let you remain in my life. I'm not carrying a grown ass adult. That's what I heard. Um, I, I don't know what the potential of this expression of their love will give for reconciliation, but we're going to look, okay? We're just going to look anyway, just for kicks and giggles. I'm still going to look at the newer person, however, because I feel like that's more your, your frame of mindset. You're trying to go towards people who actually make sense with your plan. You want alignment. You're not trying to confuse the universe out here. And this person just is not on the level. You, you kind of already knew that, but... Over time, that attraction just grew less and less and less because of these behaviors. Wow. 
All right, Virgo, look, that's what I've gotten. Please come over with me to the extended. I wanna see what this person is feeling like, what their actual feelings are. What changes have they made? Um, is it worth your while to look at this again? Y'all like, no girl, we already know that. I'm just saying, we're gonna look anyway, okay? We're gonna look at their next steps, what the potential outcome is, and then we're gonna look at the new person. Let's see what the new person is bringing to the table. Let's see if they're on the level. Maybe that's something that you would potentially go towards rather than reconciliation. Um, and then we're going to look at your finances, okay? Financial freedom is what we're all about, making money while we're asleep. We're going to look at what the blockages are from getting you there and what spirit's advice would be for you to focus on to uh, make it past that blockage. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. All right, thanks for the love, support. I will upload more for your sign. Click that like button, guys. Support my channel. Click the like button click the subscribe button join our family and come on over with me to the extended to dig in a little bit deeper all right it's going to be linked down below